Tonight we are having meatloaf. This meatloaf actually came from my mom. My mom taught me how to make it. Mom passed away back in 2011. But she used to make the best meatloaf you could imagine. There's lots of ways to make meatloaf, but she made it a certain way. You add breadcrumbs, you just sit, sprinkle some on. Uh, there's no telling how much. It depends on the pound of meat. I would say about almost two cups of breadcrumbs. You put in one egg, one farm egg. You add it in salt, pepper, there we go, and a little bit of garlic powder, which will give it a little zest. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is, it's a messy job, we're going to mix it up all together. There we go. There we go. Nice, good meatloaf. It's going to be delicious once it's done. Too many breadcrumbs could cause a problem. It could fall apart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one right into the loaf pan. Okay, and I'm going to really mold it into a loaf. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is this is what mom used to do. Now not, not everybody makes meatloaf this way. People, some people use ketchup, some people use barbecue sauce on it. Mom used to use tomato sauce. There we go. But you also took, used to use tomato paste. There we go. And we used to, she used to smear it all over the meatloaf. It was so good whenever she made it. I miss Mom a lot. She was a very good woman. She used to cook a lot of good stuff for us. But this is the one thing I kept that she didn't take with her when she died. Was her famous meatloaf recipe. It used to taste so yummy. Of course, I came up with a few inventions as we got older. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water. Because without water, your meatloaf could burn and stick. And about every 20 minutes, you have to check it. Because if you don't check it... Now also, sometimes you can put onions into the meatloaf, but sometimes you put it outside of it. And the sauce tastes so good this way too. It can go, it can go both directions, on top of it, all around it. Now I would cook this about between an hour to an hour and a half and keep checking the water because the water can evaporate in the oven and you have to add in more water. We'll end up having burnt meatloaf and burnt onions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it into the oven and keep checking it every 20 minutes. Heat the oven, keep it at 400 degrees. It's a good temperature. It'll be ready in about, uh, I would say it's 314. It should be ready probably most likely around 430. And you will see some of the stuff that I'm going to add with it. One of them is egg barley. My, gra my grandmother used to make it with egg barley. It was so yummy. Ugh. And I'll show you how she made it. Okay, the best thing to go with meatloaf, and my grandma used to make this, is egg barley. But unfortunately, it's very hard to find Goodman's egg barley, so we use the closest thing we could use called pastina. Now, what I normally do is I put salt, it has to be salted butter. You put it into the pastina, it tastes really good. It takes about maybe five, ten minutes to cook. There we go. And it's so yummy with the meatloaf. Let's stir it up a little bit. Now we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to cook this and it has to be watched because it has a habit of boiling and we don't want that to happen. And also, I also have a new thing that I actually discovered myself. It's called, it's a sauce that I'm going to make. Let me see the can up behind everybody. I'm sorry about that. I need one can of tomato juice. I mean tomato sauce. Let's call it tomatoes. Here we go. Sometimes you got to be very, very careful. The top of it got accidentally got, got in it, but not to panic. It happens to all of us. It happens to the best chefs in the world. Also, I'm going to my baking cabinet, and I'm going to pull out 
something you would never expect in a million years. Brown sugar. I'm also going to get the milk, because the milk has to be ice cold at a refrigerated temperature before I can do this. It's got to be very, very cold. Ooh, it's starting to boil a little bit, see? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in five tablespoons of brown sugar. I actually discovered how to do this myself, believe it or not. Nobody taught me how to do this. I discovered this a long time ago. A friend of mine actually taught me how to make this. It's got to be five tablespoons of brown oh, yes. sugar. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix this. Slowly up the brown sugar. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in about a cup of milk, which is also equivalent to almost a can of milk. There we go. Yeah, that should be more than enough milk. All right, and I'm going to stir it. Look how beautiful that's coming. So beautiful. Oh, wait till you taste this. Okay, mix up a little bit more. Now, this is the thing. When you put it on the stove, this needs to be watched. Because one time, I didn't watch it. And guess what happened? It was a bloody mess. And also, another thing that goes great with meatloaf is cream corn. Okay? Goes great with meatloaf. Wonderful thing that goes with meatloaf. But you gotta put a little bit on the plate at a time because it has a habit of running all over the plate. So we're going to back burner. There we go. And we're going to loop warm it up. Just a loop, very low heat. And I got to stand here and baby this because this stuff can boil over as we speak. Okay. And here it is. It's just delicious, wonderful, delectable, home-style meatloaf that my mom actually taught me to make. And I use tomato sauce on it. It tastes so yummy. Now with the egg wally, what I'm going to do is sprinkle some pepper on it, some salt, and believe it or not, a little bit of paprika. Some odd reason paprika gives it a little bit of flavor and makes it smell so good. Mix up there a little bit. There we go. It might need a little bit more, not much. I'll give you. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the egg poly right here go. Cream corn. Be very careful. Just put a little bit on at a time. It has a habit of running all over the dish, as you all know that. Now, this is my famous gravy. I call it the Deborah gravy. It is so good, you just pour it over the meatloaf. There we go. There we go. And here is dinner for tonight. Meatloaf. Actually, this is called pastina, not egg barley. I haven't seen egg barley in years. And cream corn. Have a good night, everybody.